Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a by Terry haul and show you some of the or all the products I have from the brand. So by Terry was created by Terry de Gunsberg who has worked in the beauty industry for a really long time and she actually used to work in YSL I think and she created the Touche Eclat which is like one of the most popular makeup products in the whole world. I think they said one is sold every five seconds or something. So yeah she created it so she really knows her stuff and her brand is a luxury brand like expensive very high quality and i like most of them all of them actually all the ones i have like they're really good like i already had a very very long list of what i wanted from by terry but as i said expensive so um it's not a decision you just make in one day and all that so most of the products i've bought over two months so i bought in August and in September and I have used them all so they're not going to be brand new I have put them back in the packs or in the packaging just so it looks better you know it just looks nicer but um so they're not gonna be like brand brand new or anything well they should be but um yeah so that's pretty much it. I don't want to ramble too much and let's just get into it I will show you my bag and that's it over here I have quite a lot to go through so let me just get right into it so the first product i want to show you which i'm sure you guys have seen and i featured it in my favorite is the by terry eye designer palette so this can be used um both wet or dry and it's just it's beautiful it's a, one of the most beautiful palettes i have ever owned or have expensive as well but i love it so it has 10 eyeshadows and as i said it can be used wet or dry one thing i like about by terry brown is that it has purple packaging and I love purple so this is what the palette looks like I think there are about three kinds of this palette so this is number two so this is the color design and then there's a nude one which is number one I believe and then there's number three which um, I think is a jewel toned one I think it's a new launch so, so it comes in this purple pouch and inside you have the palette which I'm sure you guys have seen already if you watched my favorite which I'll link below so inside I should probably do a close-up, shouldn't I? I'll do. So it has a brush, which isn't actually that bad because normally I just hate brushes that come with eyeshadow palettes. I just don't think, I don't see the point. They're never good quality per se, but this one's not bad at all. It's actually okay. And it has that, um, a slanty or an angled um, edge so you can use it for maybe eyeliner or something. Now, this is what the palette looks like. And it has 10 eyeshadows. I love all the colors you know really bright colors and um they're very wearable colors i feel really really nice now the pack the um textures they feel quite buttery to touch really nice texture there's very minimal fall on this color at the end this one is the best transition color i've ever used in my entire life and that's what i'm wearing today like i don't even know what i'm going to do when it finishes and I have started making a dent like they have curved surfaces this one doesn't have anymore because I have been using it every single day every day even when I don't use the whole palette I always use this because it goes so well with my um, complexion I just love that in terms of pigmentation when you use it dry it's quite good I wouldn't say it's the best pigmentation out there especially for some of the colors like the lighter ones but my skin tone don't show up as well but they do show up do you get what i mean um but i think the reason why expensive palettes are created this way is because they want you to build it up as much as you like which i think is such a merit because it means everybody can use it older people can use it um, younger people who like bright colors can use it. anyone really can use it and i really like that if it's too pigmented and you, you're not very good with makeup you will just look like a mess and you wouldn't really want to use it but with this if you start with light hand a light hand it goes on really well if you want more color you just build it up and it never looks too much it just looks amazing it's really really good and i've rambled a lot but i love this palette so much and it's so 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 compact look at it just fits within my hand you can travel with it and obviously to protect it, you can always use the pouch which i think is like the most beautiful thing ever it's just so i love it so that's that i know i've talked too much about it but right let me just put it right there. okay i'll show you the um eyeliners so i picked up the lane black stars i think that's what they're called and they are called an intense liquid eyeliner precise tattoo very long name and this is what they look like the same purple lovely um packaging and inside you have this one and this one is number four and it's called violet excess Ooh. and the second one is called um number five gray motion 
this eyeliners, I was going to say eyeshadow. These eyeliners, they're not joking when I say they're tattoos. They are tattoos. They're, go they're not going anywhere. Like, just forget it. Especially the purple one. One thing I like about them, first off, is the packaging. It just looks so luxurious and just, it looks beautiful. You really, really know you've paid for something really good. Um, this one, which is the purple one, comes with a very pointed tip, which I like because it means it's so precise and so pigmented and goes on so easily. So if you're a beginner, an expert, whatever, it's going to be so easy to use this. And it's quite small, so you can just get in there. Now, this purple color is so beautiful that much the only downside for me is taking it off it won't go off like i don't know you have to use oil or a very good eye makeup remover and in the way i feel obviously that's why it's created as a tattoo because it means that it would last for a long time it's not going anywhere if you cry if you're sweating if you're in water whatever you're in it's not going anywhere and when it's time to take it off it's not something it's not one of those eyeliners that you say oh i'm sleepy i won't take off my makeup it's gonna be there tomorrow like and i think it would even be more difficult to take out so i always use a very good eye makeup remover or just oil and it melts it off immediately the next one is the gray motion one which i quite like because i don't really want to always have black eyeliner i have a lot of black eyeliners a lot of real ones are my um favorite ones but um drugstore ones i'll say this one's really good because it's gray and even though on my skin tone it still comes off like a black but it comes off like a light black like not a just a toned down black so maybe for work okay, if you... so i've also picked up the aqua print eyeshadows and this is what they look like they are so amazing and they've actually been discontinued i feel i think so normally retail for 23 pound 50 but i got it for 5 pound 50 so it's such a huge bargain so with them i picked up five colors i'll list them down below but if you want to know there's pink frappe blue fiesta green fees and peach tomato and this is what it looked like they're just so beautiful very good for um just putting one wash of color so you just apply it straight on your eyes you can blend it with your hand and that's it you don't especially you don't really need to do much with it so if you're one of those people that don't want to have too much on your eyes and you're in a rush these pencils or these eyeshadow pencils are really really amazing and i love having them around with me because i know they're so fast this particular color, which is the peach tornado, I really like a lot because it acts as a very good base for um, gold eyeshadows and everything. And I use most of them as bases as well because you can wear them on your own, but I just feel that when you wear it under an eyeshadow, not just the biter one, any other kind of eyeshadow, it kind of brings them out properly and helps them last so much longer. So yeah, the packaging is so beautiful, but you know the best thing about them? They come with sharpeners and oh, I didn't, I've not had cuts to sharpen them for a long time until was it yesterday or the first day i sharpened them and that's how i was like oh my god this is the best sharpener in the world you know sometimes when when you have um um eyeshadow um pencils and you sharpen them you find that you lose some of the eyeshadows in itself but this doesn't do that all it does is actually just peel off the um oh, i don't even know what to call this just the sides of it so you don't lose any product no product is going at all and i think that is incredible and that's that so the next product i picked up was the blush terribly and this one is called the ultimate radiance blush and i picked it up in the shade beach bum and i love this i find that when it's time for blushes i just want blushes that will actually show up on my skin tone because some brands make blushes that won't show up at all but I'm so pleased that this one is so good. And look at this packaging, it is incredible. Whoever designing her packaging is just, I don't know, it's just a genius. Now this is what it comes in. It looks like a jewel. It's a, I think it's described as jewel case. It's so beautiful, it's so weighty, and you just want to put it on your dresser and just admire it and not use it. So that's why I really, really like it. And it also comes with a pouch so you can travel with it. And it's, I think this one is a silk pouch. So you can just put it inside if you're traveling and just go with it beautiful now the color in itself is pigmented i'm not even joking oh let me just open it as i said i've used them all before i just put them back so it has a light film and it comes with a, um, a brush which i think is really nice this is what it looks like how beautiful is this and i have used this a lot a whole lot a whole lot because it's just so 
easy to use. I find that actually using the brush makes it so much easier, which I would never have thought of because never, normally I, I wouldn't use the um, brushes that come with this makeup, um, makeup product or any makeup product really. But this one is so nice because it helps diffuse it properly and it just doesn't look too clowny on you because this is very pigmented like uh, i'm not even joking very 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 pigmented but i love it so much it's so beautiful and the mirror has the by terry signature in it and it's just so cute and that's that and then the next products i picked up um where ombre black stars finally i'm sure everyone everyone knows about these products because I think that one of the most popular and I think our best selling products because it's just incredible. This is what it looked like. Actually, I actually have one more. I don't know where the back of this one is. Where is it? So I have six of them and I'll just go through them. So first of all, they come in this purple packaging as is and inside you get the most beautiful eyeshadow sticks ever. Let me just take out all of them. I picked up six of them and the reason why I like them first of the packaging look at this beauty would you not just want to pull this out every day and use it it's just so beautiful now one thing I like them for is that at the bottom I don't know if you can see it gives it shows you the corresponding color so if you have a lot of them you can just know which one is and just pick it up which is really good and I find that the um, colors at the bottom actually match well so I've got six shades I got number Four, which is really popular in YouTube and in blogging world is the bronze moon. I got number five, which is misty rock I got number two, which is silver granite and I got 15 which is umbra and mercury I've got 11 which is beyond gold and I got number seven, which is fizzy jade. I love all of them like they are the best Stick eyeshadows or cream eyeshadows. I've ever used in my entire life I'm just gonna show one that is really popular. Maybe I should show misty rock So it has a lid and then it goes up properly this hasn't melted I've, I've tried a lot of um similar ones like the kiko one and so many other ones they are not the same at all this is so good the pigmentation is amazing it goes on really really smoothly it gives you enough time to blend it in if that's the only thing you want on your eyes and it stays put they are worth it i would say if you want to try any product at all just try these ones because you won't regret it at all. They are just beautiful. Absolutely. Next product um, I picked up, I think, oh, is the By Terry Bomb the Rose, which is also another like blogger induced one. So this is the lip balm. It is beautiful as you would expect. This is what it looks like. And then inside it has the most beautiful lip balm. I love the smell. It has a rose smell. If you don't like rose smells, then you probably want to avoid this. But I love this so much. It goes on so, so smoothly it's one of the easiest ones for me to use because i find that the other lip balms i have they kind of sit a, a little bit heavy on the lips and they take a little while before they work but this one sits really lightly and works really fast so it's something you can just pop on in the morning on your lipstick it doesn't interfere with anything at all it doesn't feel heavy at all it feels super super light and that's why i understand how expensive it is obviously it's going to last forever it has to i mean i don't see myself making a dent in this and i've been using it for two months almost every day and it looks like i haven't even touched it it's amazing this is a terribly velvet rouge and it's called a liquid velvet lipsticks and as you know liquid <laughs> liquid lipsticks are like the rave now I picked up two I picked up number two cappuccino pass and I picked up number nine which is my red and that's what I'm wearing today that's already featured this in my favorites because it's gonna finish so I'm pretty sure of that because I have used it so much it's just insane and then I got my red, which is what I'm wearing today. Such a beautiful red lipstick and it would suit anyone. It applies really well. Very, very pigmented. Very. Obviously, it's a liquid lipstick, so you wouldn't expect anything less. Lasting power, top notch. The only thing I don't like about them is transfer. They, this red one is notorious. I don't know what else to do to prevent it from transferring, but it does transfer. So it's just something to bear in mind, but really like... I wouldn't really mind. I don't really mind actually. Like the um post cappuccino cappuccino pus doesn't really transfer as much as the red uh, my red, but I love them and the wand is very very beautiful. It has obviously a doe foot applicator and it's curved so it really gets into the lips and it's something you can use on the go. It's beautiful and the packaging you can't deny this. Very very beautiful. And then I think um, the rest of the other products are things I already bought before, but I'll show you. I just picked up back coats because as I said, they discontinued the foundation for my um, complexion. So I picked up 
two more shades because I already had one. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is the Cover Expert Foundation. And I have this in Intense Brown, which is what I'm wearing today. I love this so much. It is beautiful. It's just a little bit too dark. Like, but well, you probably not know. You can't tell because that's what I'm wearing today. And then I picked up one copper. So I have these two. And then I picked up another backup of one copper because that's the one that's my actual skin um, tone. So I have three of them, all backups. Well, because they're going to discontinue them. But cover expert foundations, I love them. They're ridiculously expensive. I think they retail for £45. But this one, I really, really like because it was obviously on sales, but 10k sales, it was £11. So that is a huge bargain. And I think I even had some points. So it was very cheap at the end of the day so and lastly i have the light expert click brush which was given to me at the event and this is so so beautiful i just wish it was my actual shade it would have been incredible so this is what it looks like and it's so good because it has a brush in it and it also has a foundation in it so this is what it looks like but i use mine for um highlighting it looks a little bit messy i use it today to do some highlighting here and under my eyes and, and you know just everywhere really i love this so so much you can put it on here you can use it as a foundation if you find your shade but obviously i'm using it just to highlight around my face and i love the texture it's so light even if you have makeup on and you put it on top of it you'd never feel that heavy cakey feeling at all it's just really really good and i wish they would make shades that would suit to darker people the good thing is it has a brush this cartridge inside this is what it looks like i wonder if they would be selling refills that would be so cool but yeah look at how cute this is i love this so much so you literally drop it in have the brush which i have made messy now that's why q and that is pretty much it it is beautiful really really beautiful and i love it as a highlighter because it sits me i feel if you're darker than me then it might be difficult to find your exact shade but i really do like this it was expensive but thankfully it was given to me and then they also kindly gave me a mascara sample and this is a terribly growth booster mascara and i've been using it for a long time at first i was like i'm not seeing any difference but it has really helped and i've been wearing it under my mascaras because i loved um i love not loved i love um baby doll mascara by ysl i love that that's like my favorite one and this i've just been using under and it's incredible i love it so much it really helps my lashes even though i meant to, i know it's meant to be a growth booster one but it raises them up a little bit and then tush um not tush, but baby doll does the rest of the work but yeah this packaging is so cute and it hasn't dried up at all and i've been using it consistently for at least more than a month now or even almost two months because this was given to me in august mm. all the information links and prices or whatever i'll put them down I don't know what how it works but it's a very good place to check so that, that is pretty much my entire by terry collection and i really hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more videos as well and yeah i'll see you in my next video